Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jordi from Yepper Design and welcome to another Final Cut Pro tutorial. In this tutorial I will teach you how to make a uh, transition on a person walking through your image. Um, it's not a standard uh, tra transition, it's not from your uh, effect library. I uh, know you have to create it yourself. Um, so it's a bit more uniquer. <laughs> okay, uh, let me just play the, the video it's playing right here. There it is. Okay, short, very short, very easy also. Um, by the way, for those of you who have worked with uh, Adobe After Effects, um, though you probably know how to, how to do this with uh, using a mask, uh, the mask tool. Uh, no, Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro doesn't have uh, a ma doesn't have a mask tool, so uh, we have to use the uh, garbage mat. Uh, Premiere Pro also has this tool, um, so this tutorial is actually the same for uh, pr for Premiere Pro. Uh, there might be some some things different, but eventually it's quite the same. Okay, so this here is the original footage. Uh, you see, so this guy is walking through. You see, so the back of him is, st is still the same uh, image, and here in this video, the back of him is another video. The video beneath it. See, if I ever move it, see, it will change. Okay, whatever. Um, now, let me just show you how I made this. I'm going to delete it all. I go to my uh, project panel here, and I've got two footages. So, this is the, the flowers, and this is uh, the walkthrough. Uh, I'm gonna drag the walkthrough on the top, on the top layer, the top video layer, video layer two, and the uh, flowers, your second video. I'm gonna drag with that one uh, below. Oops. There we go. Okay. Uh, now I'm gonna scrub through it until we, yeah, until the frame the person is walking in. On the back side, make sure you don't see. Like I already see the back side here. Make sure you don't see it like that. The first frame, no, the last frame, when you did, when you don't see the back side of, it, of the person, you'll you line the second video up with it. Then we gonna start keying in. Uh, what do you do is by going to effects. We go to. Um, I have to search a little bit. Uh, Matt here. Uh, and then we can go to 8 point or 4 point garbage mat. Uh, Pr Premiere Pro even has the 16 garbage mat. And for uh, Final Cut Pro, I know there's also a, an external plugin where you have a 50 uh, point garbage mat. Uh, I haven't installed it, but if you look uh, for it on Google, um, I think you will find it. Uh, so we're going to drag this uh, fact onto my top video. I'm gonna double click on it and you already see uh, numbers on it. These are actually um, these are your dots. You can change the position of this and this will key your uh, your image out. Uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna key out the back of this person. So we're gonna move all the dots to the back. I'm gonna do this if you go to filters. Here's the A point uh, garbage mat guy okay, here you also see it and the in your canvas okay um, now point one is this one here okay if I take this uh, cross here I can change point one and you can always already see I'm keying here so this video the flowers you see is the video beneath it okay pretty obvious um, now we're gonna bring these points a little bit closer to each other and that boom 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 was my uh, adium, <laughs> my machete client. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Um, okay, um, there's six, seven. Oops, seven is out of the image. Um, the six, the five, and that's it. I had a two, so that's important. Make sure you're. The, the two is on the top. Okay, um, where is eight? Seven. 
six and five. It's right here and then five. Right on the down side. Then I'm gonna take four. Four is always gonna be in this point. I can even do with them um, it's outside of it. And three is going to be around here. You can also put it outside the image. Okay. So three and four are gonna stay in the right side and the rest of it we're all gonna put it on the left side. And now we have to start animating. I'm going to do this by uh, make sure you're on this point here when the tr transition starts and we're going to uh, create keyframes. So you click these dots here. See? Make sure you take them all. Oh, no, this one. Um, so you got all the points here. Um, you press on your keyboard on your arrow to the right side to go one frame forward. Okay, nothing much happened here yet. We see a little bit here. You can already start um, animating it now. So that's point six, which is the closest to it. I'm gonna take point six. I'm gonna see where we can place it. Now, to make this easier, you can change the view mode to wireframe. So we don't actually see the key. Uh, let me just show you. You see, we don't see the keying, but it's easier for for us to to key it out <laughs> right at the moment. Okay, uh, make sure you're not outside the image here. Uh, so places the point six. No, it's just going to be a little bit here. One frame forward. This is a bit better. Uh, point six is going to be here. Point seven more to the here. Point five. Where is it here? Right, that's pretty good. One frame forward. Point six up here. Point five down here. Point six right here. Yeah, you just have to look where where you can key them out. Okay, now we're gonna use point A to here, but make sure you go now one frame back. Place a new keyframe for point eight and go one frame forward else it will be animating through time from um, that point to that point over this time because I haven't used my 8 uh, yet. Um, I hope you do understand what I'm saying here. It's pretty basic stuff on keyframing. Uh, so I'm not go further in it. So it's pretty black here this area. Let me just see. Let me just go closer to my screen. <laughs> oh no, my 8 has to be here because it's his jacket I think. Okay, so you just do it all the way through. So you go one frame forward, you place uh, no, three, uh, you go to point five, line it up again, point six to there, point seven to there, etc. Uh, I'm gonna do this now and I'll be back in a second. Okay, I've uh, keyframed uh, everything out now. Uh, let me just show you the video now. I'm gonna render it first. There we go. I'm gonna play it. That looks pretty awesome. It worked. Okay. Now we still got this. Uh, this this doesn't look this doesn't look good here. This line. Now we're gonna make it a little bit more smoother. And on the uh, properties of your uh, of your eight point garbage mat, where we have just keyframed everything. So here all are all the keyframes. Um, when you go down you see edges here and we're gonna first smooth it a little bit, but just a little bit. No, we're not, sorry, we're not gonna smooth it. We're gonna feather it. <laughs> you see, we're just gonna feather it a little bit. Okay, we might choke it a little bit. Oh, not too much, not too much. Say it to 140. Yeah. It's gonna feather it, but not too much, because you see, if you feather it too much, your uh, up and right side are also gonna be gonna be feathered. So um, just a little bit, so it looks more natural. Okay, not not gonna make it smooth. No. There we go. That should be it. I'm gonna render it again. Let's let dig. Let's have a look now. Okay, gonna play it. There we go. It looks way more smoother now. You see. It is way more natural. Okay, that's it. Um, 
there we go. I hope you learned something out of this tutorial and uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you check out our website uh, yepperdesign.com for more tutorials uh, and free designer tools.